Hey, what is going on everyone? Extra Envisage here, and today I'm bringing you guys some Black Ops gameplay. We're using the M... Definitely not the MK-14. Uh, we're definitely using the AK-47. Halfway through, I switch over to the Commando Silenced, and I get a pretty good score. This was um, actually my first game back on Black Ops. Um, somebody said I should do some Black Ops gameplay, and... When they said that, I actually already had some gameplay ready. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, this was my first game back into it. I only played like three games so far. Um, and then like, I don't know. I've just been kind of taking like a little break from gaming. Uh, you know, school is back up. My, my spring break has ended. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of, you know, keeping it cool. Trying to chill and just get through school as fast as I can towards the summer because you know, again in the summer um, you know I have every day free except for the days that I go to uh, go to summer school I am gonna have to take summer school this year guys um, but yeah I'm gonna be taking summer school but I mean other than that I mean basically it's just the rest of the day to me and uh, you know summer school only lasts for three weeks so then I still have the majority of my summer still with myself uh, hopefully I'll be getting in internship I actually turned in the application on the 30th and uh, hopefully I get that and I can earn some money by the end and you know get some new gear and all that stuff and we'll be rocking um, so yeah it's just kinda my game plan so far um, what else oh um, basically what I wanted to talk about I guess as I said I have, or I didn't know if I said this or not, but I have a four-day weekend coming up. I have a half day, the day you guys are listening to this. So by the time you guys are probably watching this, um, I'm already out of school, hopefully. And, uh, you know, we have a half day. It's cool. And uh, I have a four-day weekend, so I don't go to school until next Tuesday. So that that should be fun. To uh, I'll be live streaming a lot, and uh, hopefully I'll get another gameplay out there for you guys to watch. Um, trying to come up with some projects here, um, some like big name projects. I don't really know what to do yet. I haven't really brainstormed at all of what I want to do, but I really want to do something big, something that's going to, you know, catch the eye, something that's going to bring in a lot of views because, well, how am I supposed to, you know, everybody does a commentary. I can't get big of just doing commentaries alone. So I want to do something big, probably something that's already been thought of, but isn't done every single day. So, uh... You know, I'll be thinking of stuff like that. So, um, I still haven't gotten my trailer yet for my for my cousin. So uh, I'm still waiting for that, but it should be awesome. I can't wait for it. And yeah, so what I wanted to talk about today, I kind of wanted to share some knowledge with you guys. Something I learned actually today in U.S. history class. It was really intriguing, and uh, I think you guys might enjoy. So as you guys know, in Modern Warfare 2. Um, there was the tactical nuke, 25 kill streak, easy enough, you know, people would camp for it, Harrier and Chopper Gunner would do all the work. Um, then, in Modern Warfare 3, they brought it back with the Moab, 25 gun streak, and, you know, that was, that was a bit, you know, more difficult because, well, your kill streaks can't help you. Um, but the easiest way to get it is through the specialist and to have just every single perk at your ready. Um, of course, we didn't talk about the history of Call of Duty or the history of the kill streaks. Um, you know, we talked about some other things, and uh, we also talked about nukes, basically atomic bombs. And I thought this was interesting to share with you guys because, I mean, you guys like Call of Duty, and you guys probably go for, you know, Moabs and all of that all the time, and. There's a lot of things I didn't even know about nukes when I was learning about this. So, uh, basically, an atom bomb, you know, is made out of atoms. It's made of, uh, made out of uranium. And basically, what happens is a atom is split, which basically creates a lot of energy, and it combines with the uranium. Um, I actually have a sheet of paper with, like, the atom bomb on it. But uh, I'll kind of give you guys the gist of what happens. Um, so basically, I it kind of goes back to World War II when we dropped the first atom bombs of the world. Um, basically, 
there were two different types of bombs that were used, one on Hiroshima and one on Nagasaki, of course. And uh, one was called the little boy and the other was called the fat man. <laughs> very, <coughs> very interesting names. And, uh, <laughs> you know, they were, one was really, like, long and tubey, one was not. And uh, just to kind of put all of the information that we learned, um, basically what had happened, or the detonation process, I should say, since this game is kind of wrapping up, the detonation process was like this. They would drop it at about 37,000 feet, um, and then it would go off at 1,000 feet. And that basically was, you know, a couple of seconds in itself. Um, basically, it would detonate at a thousand feet, and I know a lot of you guys might think, oh, it detonates at the ground. No, it detonates at a thousand feet, and all of the force is pushed down. And basically, when it's pushed down, you know, all the energy hits the ground and then spreads out, and then what happens after that is that it basically comes all the way back and goes up, and that's what makes the mushroom cloud, and it's really, really intriguing. Um, I, you guys should look more into it on the detonation process and all that. It's really, really intriguing. But uh, basically, it ranges out to six miles, and basically, the ideal spot that you want to be in if you're on the ground when an atom bomb hits is directly under it, because you won't even see the detonation. It'll be done, and all this happens in 13 seconds, guys. I just thought that was interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed. I go 27 and 4. Um, like the video if you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, I can go more in depth with it. If you guys want to go more in depth with it, I'll get my little sheet out and do another video. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Will I make it? I don't know. From the bottom of my heart, I swear to God, I gotta blow. Just for every time.